Hi and welcome to my channel Fantastic 50s. Today I'm going to be talking about how to stay positive during this difficult time. If you're new here my name is Claire Bendel and welcome. Please subscribe to this channel that way you will be able to see all my new videos when they come on YouTube first. This video is going to be in two parts. I have 10 positive things that you can do during 2021 that will make you feel happier and hopefully healthier. These things will enrich your life and the lives of others around you. So we have number one exercise. It's brilliant for positivity, it puts you in a good mood and if you do the XBX like I do, it takes 10 to 12 minutes a day. I have Saturday and Sunday off and it really does put you in a good mood. So that's the first thing I would say to do to make you feel happier and healthier is exercise. Now, if you don't want to do the XBX, you can do any other exercise you like. If you own a bike, you can go cycling. You can go cycling in the countryside and it's wonderful for your heart. There are new parks popping up all over the place with exercise equipment and it's a fantastic way to stay fit. Exercising outdoors is good for your heart, your lungs and your soul. Being outdoors is wonderful. Exercising outdoors doesn't need to be strenuous. You could take a yoga mat and practice some stretching. Stretching is wonderful to warm you up and make you feel great. Lifting weights is wonderful for us over 50s. The second thing you can do is meditate. First, find a quiet place. Now, there are lots of meditation videos that you can listen to and download and relax to. You can do it in the morning or you can do it at night to relax you to go to sleep. There are many meditation videos that help you to relax and stay positive and also help you eat less, do more, think clearly and be more focused. So meditation is wonderful for you. Now we have number three, reading. I love reading. I have many, many physical books and I also own an e-reader. I download books from there and you can just get lost in a book. Escapism is wonderful. I know we do have to come back to reality, but escaping into a book by your favourite author is one of my most wonderful things to do. I love reading. If you start reading to your children when they're very young, they will have a love of reading all their lives. If you're a grandma, you can read to your grandchildren. If they don't live close, you can call them and read a book to them. You can also read a book anywhere you want and you can start your own book club with your friends. You can all read the same book and chat about it later. If you don't like reading actual words, then you can download an audio book. There are places that let you have audio books for free. There are millions of them. I download audio books and I listen to them when I'm doing housework. Listening to an audio book makes housework easier. And I also listen to them when I'm walking in the forest sometimes. If it's raining and miserable and all the birds aren't singing, then listening to an ebook while I walk passes the time quickly. 
and I get my nature exercise. I always walk my dog Millie in the forest. Number four on this list is baking. I love baking and it's so relaxing and you eat the thing at the end. Now that's the best part. To share your food with other people and make them happy is a wonderful thing. The easiest thing I think to bake are biscuits. Then you can move on to cupcakes. And also bread. Having fresh bread in the house is wonderful. Making bread can be tricky at first, but you have to try a few times before you get it right. And you will always eat what you make and share it with the people you love. The smell of fresh bread in the house is fantastic. Please try baking. Bake something delicious for your family today. My number five is talking. I know, I know. If you've watched me, you know I love to talk. But talking to your family and friends. So, if they live far away, like my family do in England, call them. It is wonderful to talk and you get their news, they get your news and it really, really makes a difference to your day. I also video call my family, those that have the internet. And last Sunday, I did a quiz with them. It, it's just wonderful to be able to interact and have that conversation while you're actually looking at them and seeing how they're doing. It's just wonderful. So that's my number five. I'll be doing another video on this. So please like and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you next time. Bye.